Hi, my name is Allison. I am just shy of 40 years old. I've been married to my husband, Patrick, for nine years. We live in Connecticut. I have two teenage stepdaughters, Madison and McKenna. And my husband and I have a six-year-old daughter together. Her name is Reese. And I'm a pretty busy work-from-home mom. I get up at 5 a.m. every morning just to get some work done before my little one uh, wakes up. And when she does, I get into full-blown mommy mode. We do breakfast, we read books, we concentrate on homework if there is anything of that sort. Um, sometimes we just snuggle on the couch and spend mommy-daughter time together. But my job just doesn't end there being a mom. I'm also a stepmom to two teenage uh, daughters, uh, 15 and almost 17. And um, I'm really blessed to have them in my life. They're absolutely stunning. We have a wonderful relationship. We do a ton of family vacations. I've been married to my husband for nine years and I really couldn't be any more proud to be the mom figure in this family. Well, first and foremost, I'm a full-time uh, work-from-home mom. I'm a personal trainer, I'm a nutritionist, I'm an aroma touch therapist, and I work in a med spa one day a week. And most of all, what I really love about my job is that I'm the founder of Ali G's Everyday Angels Foundation, and 90% of my work goes into my charity. When I think about Mrs. America, it gives me goosebumps. I am absolutely humbled that I get to step on the Mrs. America stage. I never in a million years thought that I would be the reigning Mrs. Connecticut, and to step on that national stage, just, I'm just so humbled and so proud to represent my state. We are so excited here at Dune Jewelry to be sponsoring Mrs. Connecticut at the Mrs. America pageant and we're going to be creating necklaces out of beach sand from Mrs. Connecticut's home state. Uh, so it's actually going to be a tangible reminder of her special moments and her special home and, and everything about Mrs. Connecticut. She's going to be able to give it to all of her friends at the Mrs. America pageant. We're going to be creating 55 sterling silver necklaces that are going to be handcrafted here in Boston using the sand that Mrs. Connecticut brought from the Connecticut shoreline. So it's sterling silver, heart shape, and sand from Connecticut. Allison, from all of us here at Dune Jewelry, we want to wish you the best of luck in Las Vegas at the Mrs. America pageant. Go Connecticut! What inspires me to be in pageantry is that I have a bigger voice for whether it's a charity project or something that I'm working on, but mostly it's I want to inspire other women who never thought that they were good enough for pageantry to get on stage and be the best that they could be, to get on that stage and prove to themselves that their beauty comes from within, not necessarily what's on the outside. So today we are heading to Aria Medical Aesthetics. Um, it is a med spa here in Southington that I work at as a contractor one day a week, uh, giving aroma touch technique. step on stage with a bunch of women from my state and have to compete against them just for the preliminary and to actually win that. I think because Mrs. America is the longest running Mrs. pageant, it's the most prestigious pageant out there for the Mrs. It's just such a humbling experience. Meet my trainer, Jake. Jake tries to kill me on a daily basis with his insane workout routines. But at the end of the day, he motivates me to give everything I have into each workout to prepare for Mrs. America. The Fabulous Face Contest is a contest held through Mrs. America that allows the community to have the power of voting me into the top 15 semifinalists. With each vote, there is a small donation of $2.50 that supports several Mrs. America designated national women's charities. Bovea Vineyards is donating bottles of wine with grapes that are exclusively grown in the Northeast for me to present at the Mrs. America pageant. Their generous donations include a red, white, rosé, 
and their exclusive chocolate epiphany reserve in which they call a dessert in a glass. I am the founder of Ali G's Everyday Angels Foundation. I run about 30 different charity events a year to raise money, to raise awareness to those in need. Since inception, we have raised over $50,000 in cash, services, and goods to help those that truly, truly need the help. Every year, Mrs. America highlights a specific charity. This year, they had chosen Victoria's Voice. So every year it is up to us contestants to raise awareness and funds to help this charity along. So Victoria's Voice is all about substance abuse, raising awareness, helping youth and families um, with this epidemic in our country. Whether it's if you lost someone or you know someone that's currently um, an abuser or an addict and you want to get them help, this foundation does a lot for these people. So with that being said, I have gone out to my community and asked all of my supporters and sponsors, friends and family, to actually donate some proceeds to help me along this journey that's directly for Victoria's Voice. One of the services I offer being a nutritionist is teaching clients how to prepare healthy and delicious meal options because healthy food doesn't need to be boring. I was determined to become fit shortly after my pregnancy with my daughter, so I made it a priority to teach my family the importance of living a healthy lifestyle. Being a personal trainer allows me to inspire others to reach their fitness goals and to educate them about the importance of making healthy decisions. The best gift I was ever given was the gift of motherhood. I love the pitter-patter of little feet and the laughter that fills my home, but sometimes they drive me to scream. Come on! Although I wouldn't have it any other way. When I was standing on stage with who is my current first runner-up, the rule is, is that when they announce the name, they announce the first runner-up's name. So when they ever announced her name, I was in awe. I had no idea. I'm like, wait, did I just win? And it was such an aha moment for me that I guess I just didn't go into this expecting to win, even though I gave it my 200%. And I just, I was in absolute awe that I, that I won. I am absolutely so overwhelmed and so humbled by the amount of support that Connecticut has given me on my road to Mrs. America. My sponsors are the most generous, down-to-earth, supportive people I have ever met in my life. I have sponsors still coming to me asking me if it's not too late to sponsor me, and I welcome all of the love and support each and every one of them has given me. And I absolutely love the amount of support that I still have coming in and people contacting me from actually all over the United States asking if they could join my team and sponsor me. I am so lucky, so grateful, and so appreciative for all of this love that I really am overwhelmed by the generosity of everyone. So what's next? On August 27th, I will be competing for Mrs. America and hopefully going to Mrs. World. But if not, I'm always going to be the reigning 2016 Mrs. Connecticut America, and my life will go back to normal, which is very hustle and bustle every day with three kids.